Welcome, excuse me, willkommen to New Ulm. The southern Minnesota town is on a triangle piece of land formed by the confluence of the Minnesota and Cottonwood Rivers, with protector of the city, Herman the German, always keeping a watchful eye from 102 feet above. It's great, you know, our, the ancestry of New Ulm is extremely German and, and, and Bohemian German as well. Uh, and so we've really kept on to that, that German heritage and that German tra tradition. Just look at the architecture found in the city, especially downtown, where there are tons of German-inspired buildings and shops. Grab breakfast from one of the local businesses in the morning and maybe take that coffee to go as you wander up and down the drag. Use your phone for those QR codes on the buildings for a walking tour history lesson. Ground zero for the 1862 um, Sioux Uprising was actually in New Ulm, so some of the original buildings are still here. If you like nature, lots of it here, including Flanderoo State Park. It's right in the city, and the Cottonwood River actually runs through the state park, which makes for great hiking trails and in the winter, great cross-country skiing. It's named after Charles Flandreau, credited with the state's nickname, the Gopher State. The city boasts it has more parks per capita than most cities, and here's a popular one to check out, German Park. The original plot of the city actually had German Park incorporated in 1855. And what's more German than beer? This is Shell's Brewery, a place that feels like it's out of a storybook, with peacocks roaming the steps that lead up to a historic mansion from 1860. It's the oldest brewery in Minnesota and... Second oldest family owned brewery in the country, uh, nestled here in the, uh, the riverside here in uh, New Ulm, Minnesota. The museum and gift shop is open and the brewery wants to do small group tours soon and open its tap room by the end of the month. I mean, it's just kind of a magical place where it's it's kind of this hidden gem of the, the uh, southern Minnesota where people can come and it's not just a brewery, it's like a, it's, it's, an, it's an actual kind of experience coming here. If you have some time in your day, well, come check out this. It's a glockenspiel, and the performances, just like this one, happen a couple times a day. The glockenspiel is 45 feet tall. The bells themselves, there's 37 of them, and they weigh about two ton. Take a seat, take a video, and take in your day in New Ulm. I had a nice lot of music. fun. Yeah, so we've got the whole list of 11 things to do and see on care11.com, including the oldest bar yeah, in Minnesota. Peacocks hanging around the brewery. Yeah, yeah it's kind of interesting.